Hi, I'm Sam from Kalimasil, and today I'll be presenting to you our new Roman Gladius. Basically, uh, in the first era of the Roman Empire, soldiers were basically like LARPer. I mean that they had to buy their own swords and own armor to be able to fight for the kingdom. And actually, to be a soldier in the army, you also had to be a citizen. Okay, I need to fight for my country, I need to conquer, I need to pay for my own stuff, and then I might be killed, might be not, but like LARPers, honor and stories is the most important things. At the first era, they were only citizens, and the more and the more and the more they expanded into countries like Egypt and like Greece and places like that, they couldn't suffice with only citizens. So they started absorbing citizens from the country they conquered to the point where they started having armies that was people from the same origin. So basically you had one family fighting each other's. Yeah, didn't help. So once they had this bigger and bigger and bigger army, they had to issue standard weapons and armor. The Roman army was really like a chain and you don't want to have any of the a chain link weaker. And they don't want to have poor old Gary didn't add enough money to buy a new swords, so the Roman were destroyed because poor old Gary didn't add enough money for a new sword. It's why the Roman army was so impressive. You're looking at thousands and thousands of soldiers, all with the same equipment, all with the same swords, same armor, same shield. We don't have the shield yet. I know it might be coming in the near future. So imagine you're being like, a Gallic or Germanic people that everybody have different weapon and they were not organized like the Roman were. Like you just see this wall of shield coming to you. It must have been a pretty scary feat. So what was this standard equipment from the Roman soldier? There was the Gladius, there was the Pugio, there was the scutum and there was the pila. You might ask, why did we choose those symbols on the handle? On this side, we have a Roman chariot and on this side, we have the Roman eagle holding the SPQR in his claw. So for the eagle and the SPQR, well, it's one of the most known symbolic from Rome since it was a standard equipment it's like the brand of the sword it's the stamp of approval on the other side why a chariot honestly it's represent also the gladiator side this one we took liberty because well we think about Roman Roman chariot are cool the sword could have been used by a gladiator why not and of course on both sides going around is the laurel branch that we know was a symbol of the Roman. We chose the Hispanicus blade, which from, you can see through its name, came from Spain when they did the Punic War. This is the longest of the gladius that we could find from history. There was smaller version like the men's profile and other ones. Is a gladius made for stabbing or slashing? The Roman gladius was not actually a slashing weapon. It was a stabbing weapon. Because in this era, the metal was not what we know nowadays. And at this length, if you will block a hit or hit too hard an armor, first, you're not gonna pierce through the armor. And second, you might break your sword. So instead, because of the shape of their tips, you could easily stab through your enemy's armor. That's also why the handle is 
shape like that. There's no way it's gonna lose your grip. That's why there's the grooves in the handle and the pommel is as big as that. You can't lose it from your hand because it's the last thing you wanna see in battle is losing your sword. So before we go into the specs of the Gladius, if you like our video and you like our weapons, please subscribe or follow and stop the like button. We release video every Thursday. As you can see on the table, I have two swords in my hand. We have a more historical version and a more fantasy video game looking one. For today, we're only releasing the more historical version. That is 70 centimeter long. The width of the blade is 5.5 to 6 centimeter. The handle length is 20 centimeter. The grip length is 8.5 centimeter. The total length of the weapon is 89 centimeter. The balance point is at 8.5 centimeter from the cross cut. The weight of the weapon is one pound or 444 grams and the handle weight is 245 grams or 0.5 pounds. The blade is made from our meticulously engineered Kelimacel foam, which has absolutely no latex in it, which hits the mark between durability, flexibility and safety. The handle of the sword is made from our urethane elastomer that allows us to mold intricate detail that makes it like it's a real weapon. It's not just plastic, it's wood and metal. It also give you a really nice balance from your sword. While every good Roman will cherish his weapon like it will be his lifeline, maintaining it, sharpening it, and make sure it doesn't rust. You don't have to do that with a Kalimacel weapon. We use a fiberglass rod combined with a fiberglass reinforced tube in the hand, which enable you to stab with it and do it safely. Not like Brutus did to Caesar. Of course, what's most important for us here at Kalimacel it's not just that the weapon look authentic, it's that it's feel authentic. We want you to be able to close your eye and feel like you're a Roman soldier fighting side by side with all your allies. And when you open your eyes, you don't want to be stuck in the heat of battle hurting someone. You just want to have fun with your friends. And of course, the last thing we want is having this beautiful artisan as your armor and going to bow with the mighty buffer. We don't want to break the immersion. We want you to fight with the Kalimacil and feel the legend in your head. We hope that you've enjoyed the presentation of this new Gladius. While all Kalimacil weapons are manufactured here in Quebec, they're available worldwide for LARPer everywhere. Make sure to watch some of our other video of our legendary weapon and subscribe or follow us to never miss a new release. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> okay.